Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Sunday, February 17th, 2019. The tarot card for today is the King of Cups. This guy is by far my favorite, and it is truly because of his gentle spirit. He has some of the most admirable qualities in the deck. He is not obsessed with finances or rulership or being the boss. He operates at a more compassionate level, showing kindness to all creatures. This is when you know you have found a good soul. It seems like a daily thing that you turn on the news and you see that there is some sort of tragedy somewhere. Usually a mass shooting with people being betrayed by one of their own from within. And along comes the King of Cups. He has that special balance of emotion that allows him to function when there is a crisis in ways that other people cannot comprehend. In other words, when you see people fleeing the scene of a tragedy, the King of Cups will be the one rushing in to save the day. So needless to say, the way things have been, you don't have to look too far to find this guy. I usually always tell a story about Mr. Rogers and when he was a little boy and his mother would try to help him to understand when he saw, you know, horrific events on the TV and she would show him the EMTs, the firefighters, the police, all rushing in to help people. And she would say, look for the helpers. So whether this is you today, or it's someone whom you encounter, there is that kind, generous, compassionate, caretaking spirit who is undaunted in the face of adversity and manages to keep everything together. I always say that he is cool as a cucumber. And that is definitely a good way to be. It can get you through many things. Now he does have an opposite side, of course, and that would be one that tends to be a bit more emotional, unable to hold it together. Perhaps someone who wears their heart on their sleeve. And I was looking for normally, you know, when we're that close to a full moon or a new moon, we tend to see that queen of short swords show up, don't we? And today it's the king of cups. So this is all about your emotions whether you're keeping them together or whether you can't keep them together. And odds are that many of you will find it to be difficult, okay? We are at the tail end of a cycle which has actually taken decades, maybe about 50 years. Whatever part of this journey you joined in on, um, nevertheless, it is coming to a conclusion today. For tomorrow, Chiron will move into Aries. It is currently in Pisces, it's at the 29th degree, and, you know, pretty much anything that you see happen, okay, especially when it's in Pisces, that 29th degree becomes more significant, and we already know how sensitive and emotional Pisces can be. If you are having difficulty with emotions today, remember, it always changes, and nothing ever stays the same. So I want to thank you all very much for listening. I'll see you here tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.